Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, Low Income, No Income, and a fourth stimulus check. I can't even believe what is being said out there right now. Let's get right into it. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video as I'm here for you each and every day with all the latest details during this very, very busy time when information is changing very rapidly. I'm doing all the research, I'm watching everything closely, and I bring you all those details as they're being released hot off the wire right here in these short videos each and every day. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Make Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any updates going forward during this very busy time. All right, thank you so much. Let's get right into the video. All right, so as we know, currently right now, Congress is working on the newly revised Build Back Better agenda. Now, let me quickly talk about this because this is something that I want to make sure that all of us are on the same page and that we understand what is actually going on here. So remember, the Build Back Better agenda is what we've been calling the stimulus package that Congress worked on literally the entire year of of 2021 starting in April and all the way through the end of the year. This is the package that started out at $6 trillion and then it was brought down to $3.5 trillion. Then it was brought down to $1.75 trillion and then eventually it passed through the House of Representatives at $2.2 trillion and was sent over to the Senate. There it sat in the Senate for a couple months and then they basically came out and said, nope, we're not doing it. All right, so since we actually had that happen in late December, from then until now, Congress has been working on and talking about a variety of different aspects and provisions from the original Build Back Better agenda. Now, they're either working on a re revised Build Back Better agenda, a skinny version of the Build Back Better agenda, a skinny stimulus package, or possibly even standalone bills or even much smaller bills. So maybe there's a few different provisions lumped together in their own separate bill. Maybe it's standalone. There's all kinds of different ways that we could be approaching the new Build Back Better agenda. So they've been trying to approach this in a variety of different ways. Now, again, we have all these different options on the table right now. Congress hasn't really come together to decide which one would be the most efficient and which would actually be the best way to proceed with the Build Back Better agenda. But as of right now, it does look like there's either going to be a skinny version around $1, uh, $1 trillion or multiple little stimulus packages, otherwise known as just standalone bills. So whether we want to call it the revised, the skinny, the stimulus package, or standalone, honestly, I'm just wanting to make sure that all of us are on the same page because we're all talking about the same exact thing here, right? All right, so with that being said, I do want to talk about something that I've seen pop up here a couple times, and I've even seen a couple people reach out asking this in the comments section, and I want to make this very, very clear going forward. All right, so here's what I've seen popping up. It says, in the next stimulus package, if there happens to be a fourth stimulus check, again, more on that in just a minute, if there happens to be a fourth stimulus check, the beneficiaries of Social Security, SSDI, Retirement, Survivors, SSI, VA, would not be included. All right, hold up, hang out just for a second there. That is something we need to discuss in a little bit more detail right here, right now. All right, so let's talk about this because here's the deal. I know that the vast majority of you right here in the community do receive these monthly benefits that I just mentioned, right? Social Security, you know the whole list. Here's what we do know, so stick with me just for a minute. Here's what we do know. Does everybody right now need a stimulus check? No, not even close. Does everybody in the United States need a stimulus check? Not even close. In fact, the vast majority of people probably don't need one, except for all this inflation. There's probably more and more people that need one on a daily basis, but for the vast majority, of just people out there, most higher income people and just even middle class Americans out there do not need a stimulus check, right? We've talked about this many, many times in previous videos. However, this is what is coming up and I saw this and I thought this is the actual opposite of what is actually going on out there. So let me lay this out for you a little bit more closely. As we do know as well, the Senior Citizens League, right? This big, powerful advocacy group for seniors, social security beneficiaries, you know the whole list, right? They were actually out a few months ago with that petition and they've been lobbying Congress for a focused fourth stimulus check of $1,400 specifically focused on, yep, you called it, all of the lower income and fixed income beneficiaries. So here's what would actually happen. Now, again, I want to make it very clear. As we talk about a fourth stimulus check, at this time, nothing has been approved quite yet. However, in the event that they do move forward with another stimulus package or even just a standalone bill, 
let's put it this way. If there happens to be a fourth stimulus check in any capacity, whether they call it a stimulus check or a economic impact payment or a relief payment or an anti-poverty uh, check or an anti-inflationary check or a relief payment, honestly, there's so many different names that they could come out with. Here's what it comes down to. In the event that Congress actually does pass another stimulus check, it's going to be focused on all of these groups. It will be highly, highly focused on all of these groups. Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, low income, no income. All of these groups would be the ones that would be highly focused on to get the payment. Here's why. We've seen the reports. We've seen all the reports. I'm back almost every day. I would say I'm probably back four, maybe five times a week with uh, different reports out there, different surveys that have come up showing that the low income and the fixed income are the ones that are struggling the most right now as a result of all this inflation. And these are the in individuals who are being um, kind of offset the most as a result of all this inflation. As a result, who's gonna get a stimulus check if we get one? The high income people? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would we give them money? They don't need it. It's the lower income. It's the fixed income. So if you happen to come across these reports and these headlines out there talking about a fourth stimulus check would skip all these people. No, that is the opposite of what would actually happen. In the event a fourth stimulus check is actually approved, and again, that is an if, we have no clue what's gonna happen going forward. In the event a fourth stimulus check is actually passed, it would be highly focused on the low income and the fixed income. So. In this event, I would say if anybody is going to receive a fourth stimulus check, it's going to be exactly these groups, the Social Security, the SSDI, the SSI, the VA, the low income, the, the no income, the seniors, the elderly, the people with disabilities. These are the groups that they would highly focus a check on. So again, <laughs> it's, it's totally opposite of what I was seeing. So again, if you happen to see these reports or if you were the handful of people that have asked down in the comments section, again, I'm guessing that you probably saw the, the headlines or the reports that I saw, it's the exact opposite of that. You would be the ones that would be highly focused to get a payment in the event there is one. So if you've been seeing this or if you hear this come up here over the next couple of days, maybe later today or who knows when, just let you know that I'm here for you. I'm doing the research. I'm watching all this stuff closely. Literally, I'm watching this stuff seven days a week, all day, every single day. Um, I'm watching all this closely and I do know the reports have pointed to this. The surveys have pointed to this. Even people in Congress, Nancy Pelosi was out, uh, Bernie Sanders, the president. I mean, big high profile people that have a big say in Congress and even the administration have recognized it's the low income, it's the fixed income. These are the people who are taking the brunt of all of this inflation right now. So why would a stimulus check pass these people? It doesn't make any logical sense to anybody. Even though we do have that, uh, that petition out there from the Senior Citizens League and they're the ones who have been lobbying Congress as well for that one-time $1,400 check. Now, Ken, I can't promise anything. I'm just letting you know. I have no clue what Congress is going to do going forward, but I'm simply letting you know in the event of a fourth stimulus check, if there happens to be one, again, so much up in the air right now, I have no clue if there will be one or if there will not be one, crossing our fingers that there will be some kind of payment, a relief payment, um, who knows what, whatever they wanna call it, honestly, doesn't matter. But in the event that they do approve another check, it is going to be highly focused on these individuals, the fixed income, the low income. So again, I know I went over it a couple times, but I just wanted to reiterate that, really hammer it home and make it very clear that if you happen to come across this, if you happen to see this, it is the opposite of what it would actually be happening, right? So anyway, I'm here for you. Seriously, I'm here for you every single day with the honest, accurate, reliable, transparent information. Even sometimes I do need to come back and share things that honestly, we don't wanna hear things that maybe we were hoping were different. But honestly, like I said, to me, it is the most important to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information, no matter what. Even if there's things that we may not wanna hear, I'm still wanna bring you that information because that is the truth. That is what is actually happening. And for me, to maintain your trust and to maintain um, honesty here on the channel and transparency is very, very important. So anyway, hope this one helps you out. If you happen to come across anything like this, just remember what I said in this video. But again, no promises. I have no clue what Congress is going to do going forward. But as of a couple days ago, you did see that video where I laid out my honest opinion on a fourth stimulus check. If you haven't seen that one yet, go back and check it out. It's just a few uh, videos back. I believe it was maybe two days ago or so that I released that video. 
Feel free to check that one out. I laid it out very, very clearly. My honest opinions on a fourth stimulus check or relief payment for the low income and the fixed income. Hey, thanks so much for being part of the community. I truly appreciate it. I am here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Things are changing very rapidly right now. There's a lot of information going on out there, but it is my duty to be here for you right by your side every single day as you called it, your one and only daily advocate. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,200 videos right here on the channel. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you again soon in the next video.